I don't know who. I guess Ken Forsh. Well, Ken Forsh and possibly Verdon was thinking about bringing back Nolan Ryan with three days rest. <laughs> wow, what a what a playoff. Whatever happens to this one, it has truly been dramatic. One strike to Art Howe on the screwball. Tugge looks unusually somber, doesn't he? Yeah, certainly does. Breaking ball just missed inside with a one on one. Ball of a strike to Howe. Two outs, tenth inning. Fastball hit the air, shallow center. Maddox coming on. Yes, there will be a fifth game. Phillies winning by a score of five to three, overcoming tremendous adversity this afternoon. And that's one excited ball club. Five three final at ten innings. There will be a tomorrow. Tuck McGraw, who's pitched in all four, gets the save for Warren Brewster. Phillies are alive. And young Marty Beistrom will be on the mound tomorrow. There you see Houston piling out. They thought they were going to do it more, as did all the fans here. Not to be. Phillies came back to win it. Five to three. Back with the totals in a wrap right after these words. Tasty cake is a day of spring. A brand new love or a golden ring. Tasty cake is the moment's love. It's all the good things wrapped up in one. Kids just never seem to get enough Tasty Cake. For over 60 years, we've fresh baked Tasty Cake with milk, butter, eggs, and chocolate. And today, wherever there's a kid, there'll be a Tasty Cake. Tasty Cake is a world of fun. It's all the good things wrapped up in one. Oh, the sun is going down and the day is nearly through. Now it's time to get going. Get something going for you at Geno's. Kentucky Fried Chicken, never frozen, always fresh, and always fresh cooked for you. Finger snapping and clapping, bang, bang, wood tapping, knee slapping, and smacking good. Geno's, Geno's, you'll go for the food. Back at the Astrodome in Houston, where the Phillies win in 10 by a score of 5-3, to three, overcoming all kinds of things. Very, two very controversial calls that ended up in Houston double plays. But the Phillies battled back even after Houston tied it in the ninth. Tug McGraw the save, and this ball club is still alive. They're back to the wall. How many times, Ray? Harry, there was no possible way the Phillies could win this game no, with those good. two horrendous calls that took four outs away from the ball club. But I give them credit. They weren't scoring. They came back. They scored. Greg Lezinski, Greg Lezinski, a, a, a big hit uh, coming off the bench cold. Pete Rose, no way anybody was going to stop him. The Phillies got a real break there when the ball, uh, when Bocce couldn't hold on to the ball. And Manny Trio, uh, uh, an insurance run. And once again, Tug McGraw in the ball game. And, it was beautiful. I give him a lot of credit. It was You do. Was you exciting. do have, have to give him credit. And uh, Getty would like to present a Getty gift certificate to today's Philadelphia Phillies player of the game. That would be Pete Rose. Congratulations to Pete from Getty. The company that would like to see us all get more miles for our money, so please drive with care. The totals for the winning Phillies, winning it in 10 innings, 5 runs. And the Phillies had 13 hits, no errors, 3 runs, 5 hits, 1 error. For Houston, the executive producer of Phillies Baseball, Steve Silverman. Our next televised game will be tomorrow at 7.30 versus the Houston Astros. Stay tuned as the Phillies Today continues. Tim McCarver will be talking to Pete Rose. For Rich Ashburn, Andy Musser, and Tim McCarver, Harry Callis. Thanks for watching. This is the Phillies Baseball Network.
U.S. Postal Service's Express Mail. Buy Tasty Cake, all the good things wrapped up in one. Buy your local Sunoco dealer. Sunoco's making every drop count. Buy Geno's, you'll go for the booth. Buy Bell of Pennsylvania. Buy your local Ford dealers. Buy the Pennsylvania Lottery. Buy golf, get golf pride, get tough. Buy natural light beer, taste is why you'll switch. Buy Toyota and your local Toyota dealer. Buy Gerard Bank, we're changing the way people bank. Don't miss the next exciting Phillies game right here on Channel 17. It's all even. A garrison finish by the Phillies in extra innings. Charlie Hustle, who hustled this win in 10, is Tim McCarver's guest now. Timmy? Petey's got a little battle right now with the fans. Of course, Sandy Umpires gave us that ball game. Can you believe these idiots? I, I can't believe it, no. Petey, what about the play coming around third? Was Lee sending you all the way? Well, Lee kept me going. Uh, a great coach on his part. And it was just the opposite of last night simply because the catcher had the ball waiting for me. And tonight was very similar to the 70 All-Star game. He was reaching out for the ball with short hopping. And he's walking at plate, and I could love him and getting pretty good. And uh, fortunately, I got safe, and the guy got down to third, and, and Greg got a great hit. And then uh, Manny came up with a base hit to give us a little insurance. Well, I, uh, you told me before. Well, Greg was just saying, you know, whatever, 11 in. <laughs> you, you told me, you told me. to do so well, Timmy, and he was just so hurt that he didn't get to play tonight. And he just uh, wanted to chip in so much, and he came up with a big hit. And, you know, Schmidt hit the ball pretty hard off of San Pedro in that inning, too, right to the left fielder, and Greg pulled his, and, and fortunately, uh, Lee kept me going all the way. I saw the ball hit and go uh, straight up, and I can't see the relay, and evidently, Lee saw the, the relay short hop the first man, and he kept me going. Well, when you got the big hit with men on first and second in the eighth inning, in the hole, super base running, you got the first hit that scored a, uh, the first one innings. Uh, they, they just put uh, Leonard out there, and in that situation, you know, he couldn't, he didn't have a shot at the guy at third, and they got to keep the double playing order when they're playing at home and give us the tie if necessary. And, and I saw the throw going Aaron towards uh, the line, so I just kept right on going and went over to cut off man's head. And, and there was no, uh, you know, it was easy for me to get into second base. And then Schmidt got a base hit up the middle. And because of Morgan's arm is sore, he couldn't throw me, you know, make a play at me at third base. And, and then Manny, uh, he hit a ball that, you know, I started to go and I went back and I saw the ball hit the ground and I saw it going as well. So I waited for both. And I scored on a sacrifice fly, and, and I thought the ball hit the ground. But, uh, you know, I waited just in case, and fortunately, uh, the run counted. Uh, there were so many. That were you a little surprised that you were buttoned in that situation because you were really buttoned to tie? Well, yeah, you know, it, you know the way the way the relief pitching's been, uh, both teams got great relief pitching. And, you know, I, I the first one I bunted, it hit the crease and went straight to the left. It would have been a heck of a bunt, but I guess it turned out to be all right for us. But Joe Morgan was mad out there because they got me two strikes and threw me a slow curveball, and they're playing me up the middle. You know, uh, I'm not going to get to second if I hit the ball to left field. And Joe was a little perturbed simply because he threw me an all-speed curveball. I hit it in the hole and, and ended up on second base. So it was a great win for us. And maybe this will develop a little momentum that we need for uh, tomorrow night. Moment. Well, any any uh, prognosis about tomorrow's game? I who's going to pitch for them? Uh, I, I, guess, I think Ryan. I believe Ryan. I guess uh, both both staffs to pitch if necessary. And, you know, I wanted to save Tug. I guess that's why they didn't pitch it for Brew tonight. Because, right. you know, you want to have Tug if you win today's game for tomorrow's game. Because, uh, you know, he's, he's great in that bullpen. And, and uh, Carlton pitched as good as he could pitch today, and you know they got a couple runs on four hits, and and uh, you know we left a couple guys on third again, but we finally started picking them up, and and you know if we can do this, uh, we can blow them out because uh, we got you know we out him in every game so right, far. Right, right. Well, an unbelievable game, the most unusual game, uh, most exciting game I think I've ever seen in regular season. Our championship play the big ones to Mars for all the marbles, Bob. All right, keep up the good work. Thanks, Timmy. Congratulations, Pete Rose. We want to take a look at those incredible highlights. We'll do that after this break. WPHL TV, Channel 17, Philadelphia. This portion of Philly. Well, here it is a baseball drama with a happy ending for a change. Starting pitchers Steve Carlton for the Phillies and Vern Rule for the Astros. Now, the Phillies hadn't seen Vern Rule except in relief against him, and uh, he got two quick outs, and the Phillies first struck out Schmidt here to end the inning. 